All right, what's up? What's up? What's up? <whistles> yep, audio is good. Audio is good. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the stream. This your boy, the Magnator. Let me see what I got up here. If I could bring it up here, if I can pull one, I can pull two. All right, here. Whenever you hear this sound. That means the magnet is about to do some cooking, baby. And I told my niece I was going to start cooking at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. So, I got a couple of minutes just to talk to y'all. Just a few minutes. Yo, 2.27. I got three minutes less. Yo, magnet. M-A-G-L-A-N-A-T-O-R. I come from the Chocolate Milky Way, baby. And I'm here to teach people how to cook. But right now, I'm not giving up any instructions or anything like that. This is just a quick dish. Quick steak for the doctor. For my nieces. Rhonda, Erica, y'all know what's happening. Anyway, but, look, it's, it, it's the Aloha Show You, baby. Look, I'm going to tell you all about the Aloha Show You and different things that I can do with that a little bit later. But for now, the only thing we're doing, we're just going to do a steak. We're going to do some pan seared french fries. We're going to steam some broccoli. Let me get the broccoli out of, out of the freezer here. Yeah, I'm going to do two bags. I'm going to do two bags of broccoli. Matter of fact, we're going to do broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something special. Something special. Just a matter of fact, it just came to my mind. I'm going to throw a twist on things today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some noodles, baby. I'm going to do some angel hair noodles. With this magnification that we're going to be getting on today. Sorry for leaving the camera for a minute there. But I had to go to get these Andrew Hair noodles. So, hey, what is it? What is this? 12 is 2.28. Still got a little bit of time to talk to you. You see, I got the blender. Oh, hey. And hey, everything's always better when a warm piece of cornbread, baby. So, we're getting that going on right now. I already got the oven heating up. The reason I call this one 30 Minute Magic is because I'm going to try to do this for you in 30 minutes. I'm talking about steak and potatoes and broccoli and cornbread, baby. Look, hey. And a little, choo, 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 little magnated, a little I show you noodle dish on the side. That's what I'm trying to give it up to everybody. So you can, if I can do it, that means you can do it too. 18 seconds, well, not 12, 229, 18 seconds. Got about a half a minute to go. So what we gonna do? Matter of fact, I'm not gonna even start. I might, you know, I got to have the oven heated up for the cornbread. You know, it takes a little while for that. But you know, the reason why I'm doing this is because. Me and my wife, you know, when we were younger, I used to create these wonderful dishes and I forgot all these recipes. I never wrote them down back then, you know, because I don't cook the recipes, but I wish I knew how to do some of these delicious dishes that I created way back in what they call the day, you know what I mean? So anyway, so we come home, she said, baby, I want something to eat, and boom, 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 baby, I whip up something in 20 minutes, y'all. Just like, I'm talking <laughs> steak, chicken, turkey pork chops, you know, just with the potatoes and the vegetables, the wine on the side, whatever. So anyway, it's 2.30 right now. I already got some water in the pots, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start those up right now. It's 2.30, so I'm getting down to business right now. Let me get the eggs. I'm going to crack some eggs. Now, one thing I want to talk to you about is preparation, okay? Preparation is a wonderful thing. And that's one of the things I'm going to talk to you about here in a second about, and I've already measured the water, not the water, I already measured the milk. You want any sugar in that baby, in that cornbread? A little bit sugar. Okay, wife wants a little bit of sugar in that cornbread because she wants to be sweet to her, you know what I'm saying? You say, babe, put a little put sugar in my cornbread because I want it to be so sweet to me, you know what I'm saying? It's, so that's what I like to do, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got to make it to her specification. That's why I leave the camera for a second, but I don't like doing that. But I'm right back. But anyway, the clock is running, y'all. The clock is ticking. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to put a little bit of sugar in that cornbread. Now, when I'm making cornbread, y'all, what I like to do, okay, what I like to do is I like to blend everything up first, see? I like to blend this stuff up first. I like to blend that egg up first. The egg, the sugar, and the milk. So now, when I put the cornbread in, every piece of cornbread that gets wet, it's got egg, sugar, and milk in it, which means it's going to be sweet, baby. Sweet. All right, so I'm just going to dump that in there. 
And I can hear that water getting ready to boil a little bit. Hey, I bet y'all wonder how this man going to do a steak in 30 minutes, man. How are you going to do this in 30 minutes? Hey, machination is a process, baby. It's a process. I'm bringing you in, baby. So that's what I'm doing right now. Get that bend on high speed, baby. Because I'm in a hurry. You know, normally I, I, I do this on like a medium speed, but because I put myself on a time clock, you know, I got to live up to my own reputation and expectations. Now, one thing about those potatoes, right? I'm going to put those potatoes in a potato chopper. And it's going to chop them up for me. But the thing I want to tell you about the potatoes in preparation is I've already washed the potatoes. See, when I bring potatoes home, the first thing I do is wash them. Because if you ever notice, sometimes potatoes are real dirty out the store. I don't want that in my house. The dirt, the dust. And sometimes when potatoes go bad, then the bugs start flying around. Hey, I don't want that in my house either. So I clean my potatoes off before I use them. Okay, so there we go with that. We finish with that. Okay, fork just hit the ground. That's okay. That's why I got more than one fork. I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil from over here. And coat the bottom of that pan just a little bit for the magnification. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what that what does that mean? That means the oven is ready for the cornbread, baby. And I'm gonna show y'all how I check cornbread, okay? Now remember, this is cornbread jiffy out the box because this is the 30-minute magnification presentation. 30-minute magic, baby. And you can do this too. Trust me, baby. You can do this too. All right, now, next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to shimmy that a little bit. Make sure that cornbread is nice and even in there. And we're going to throw that in the oven. And it'll be ready when I'm when, when everything is finished. Next thing you want to do, okay. I've already sterilized the flat griddles, okay. Let me get rid of these cornbread boxes. Put that in the garbage can. Okay, that's over there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Turn both of these on. Okay, to get ready for the steak and the potatoes. Next, a little olive oil on that surface, baby. Olive oil on both surfaces. And I use olive oil for the polyphenols, baby. Polyphenols are good for you. And I use only Greek certified polyphenol olive oil. Now, like I said before, the potatoes have already been washed and scrubbed, skins on, put in a potato chopper. And just push it through, baby. That's all you do, baby. Just push it through the potato chopper. And we're getting these potatoes all right now. I mean, there's nothing like. See right there? I need a little leverage. Shouldn't be doing this on the stove, but I don't have much room. Let me just turn my back to you for a second. Sometimes these things are kind of rough. That's why I'm going to order me a new potato chopper. Because, you know, when you buy stuff this, I mean, oh, how old is this potato chopper? We had since we got, first got married. 30 years. 30 years old. You know, the blade gets a little dull. And sometimes this stuff gets a little bit harder to use when it gets old and dull. Okay. Now look over here. We got this water boiling up already. There's those angel hair noodles. And I'm going to do just, I'm going to do two more potatoes. Okay. Now I got putting both of these griddles on high because that's how I want to cook the steak. I want to get that caramelization on that steak, baby. All right. So we got that in. We're gonna put this over here in the sink. All right. 
Let's see we're going to pull out the knife. Oh, hey, we're steaming up already on these. For these broccolis right here, I've got a pot with like a little cage in it. So that the broccoli does not go down in the water. As well as the Brussels sprouts. So they will not go down in the water. In the meantime, in between time, what y'all got is y'all got the two griddles heating up. Now these griddles might take a while to heat up too because they're kind of old, you know. I've been cooking with these things for a long time, babe, I tell you. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead with the process here. Spreading out. I dropped a couple potatoes on the ground into the sink. Okay. I'm gonna, I like to throw parsley on my potatoes, y'all. I like to put parsley over here. Y'all can see that. A little garlic powder. It's all about the flavorization and the magination, baby. And then I'm going to put a little more garlic powder because the wife likes that garlic flavor in her potatoes. It works when you do mashed potatoes too, baby. And my wife's favorite seasoning, and I don't endorse it, but it's a Cajun spice. All right, we got that going on. Next thing I'm going to do, hey, I'm going to take some of these angel hair noodles. Not the whole package because I don't need them all. Okay, I'm going to take a few out, just what I need. I'm going to put a little olive oil in there. Keep the noodles separate, you know. Helps out with the separation process a little later on. And I'm just going to take about a third of the, the pound and just put it in there. That's just for something extra that I'm doing. So anyway, we got the broccoli going and the Brussels sprouts. The cornbread, we got some noodles, and we got the french fries going. French fries are going to need a little more juice. A little more olive oil, baby. So we're going to call that the juice. Olive oil, the juice. Okay, over here, I can see that. Woo-hoo. Oh, yeah. I got to sneeze because I'm around all these spices. <coughs> Woo! So anyway, y'all. What we're getting down to do right now, I'm going to put this fan on low. Hey, we got the steak coming at you, baby. Hey, hey, it's been marinated, baby. Matter of fact, I'm going to go with this one right here. Look at that. Nice piece of steak there. That's the bonus rib eye. The bonus rib. Been marinating. It's something a little I show you. I got it on high because I want to get some caramelization. As a matter of fact, I'm going extra. Normally, I, I wouldn't cook this much at one time, but hey, why not have this for Sunday dinner too? Huh? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not have it for Sunday dinner too? Two nice bonus ribs, baby. Go and take a look at that, y'all. Go and take a look at that, y'all. Matter of fact, let me move that camera over a little bit so you can see a little better over there on that end. All right, all right, all right, all right. There we go, baby. Now we're cooking with what they call grease. I guess that's what they call it, baby. Hmm? Okay, so everything's going good. Checking out these angel hair noodles. Hey, I can, I can hear the fries over here popping a little bit, so I'm going to go in and start flipping these over right now. And that's all we're doing with these french fries, baby. We're just flipping them now. <laughs> I mean, they're they going to cook them themselves. I mean, it's a potato. I mean, it's mostly water, so the water's going to steam and it's going to cook the product. Okay, so it's... This, this is not too hard, baby. This is not too hard, baby. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not teaching everybody right now, but that was a... A teaching moment, you know, the potatoes are water, so hey, they're gonna steam just like the water over there with the angel hair is starting to boil. Mm -hmm. Can you smell what the magnet is cooking, baby? I tell you, man, I wish y'all had the magnet or smell app on Twitch or somewhere or wherever you're watching this, man, because this stuff so smell it looks good now. One thing I did do is I is I when I chop the potatoes, I'll chop them on the small one, okay? I'll chop them on the smallest measurement because I want them to cook quick. I mean, this is a 30 minute, you know what I'm saying? So it's all about the timing. It's all about the situation that I put myself in to get this done for you in 30 minutes, which I'm going to do. 
Which I'm gonna do. Ho! Oh, I don't know, man. I got 20. I got 19 minutes left. Can I do it in 19 minutes, y'all? Somebody talk to me. Somebody talk to me. And what I'm doing right now with these potatoes, I'm just pressing them down to make sure that they all get pressed down. That they all are touching the hot surface so that they all can start steaming up. So they can all start cooking. That's what's taking the most of the time right now. Just making sure that the potatoes going to cook. But this is what I'm trying to do is get this ready for y'all in 30 minutes. That's why I got this on high. Okay, coming back over here to the steak, baby. Coming back to the steak, matter of fact. Angel had noodles cooking real quick, y'all. But these are not ready yet. And like I said, this is just a little side surprise that we got going on over here. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to turn these steak over, baby. Just look at that color, baby. Just look at that color, y'all. Look at that color. Let me, let me do something real quick right over here. Let me just bring this over. And let me, you know, I had to go back and increase the magnification. That's all right. We're not going to do that today, y'all. But anyway, we got everything going. Everything looking good. I'll tell you what, and I just wish you could be here to smell, smell la, 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 what the magnet is putting out here today, baby. Now, I got to get one more thing over here. I don't see it. There it is. The ice pick. The ice pick. The reason I got an ice pick is because what I'm going to do in about 10 minutes or so is I'm going to take this ice pick and I'm going to stick it in the cornbread. If there's any liquid that comes out on the ice pick, that means the cornbread is not ready yet. Okay? So you do that about every two minutes, three minutes after until there's nothing on it and the cornbread is ready. Then you get it out of that hot pan. Okay. So anyway, we're going to be flowing. Hey, we got 18 minutes to go. And Magalita is flowing, baby. Flowing, baby. Like I say, y'all, that steak smells so good. I can smell all those seasonings, baby. Okay, Andrew, have noodles. I know you're ready, but now if I can turn this fire off, save a little electric light. My great grandmother used to call electricity electric light. She said, Boy, turn off my electric light. What you think? I'm trying to get my money away. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to strain these noodles up. But just pop back over here. Then I'm going to take some fresh water. I know y'all can't see this. I'm just hitting these noodles with some fresh water. Just to knock some of the, the starch off of them. Hey, I'm going to shake that off. I'm going to pull these noodles back in the pot. Okay, Angel Hair Noodles. Done. Let's see, let me, got a little water in there, let's see. Do that one more time, there we go. Just make sure I got all the water out of there, okay? So when now, in, in this process I'm doing these angel hair noodles in the meat, y'all gonna see me do that a lot, okay? Make a delicious meat dish, chop it up, mix it with angel hair noodles with some extra sauce. Now, the sauce from these Ziploc bags, hey, this is contaminated. I can't do nothing more else with that, so we're gonna throw that in the garbage can. But... When I get together with those angel hair noodles, I got a little bit more sauce on the side, baby. And you're going to watch the magnet to get down to business. I'm telling you right now. All right. What are we going to do next here? Flip these steaks over one more time. And then, do what the magnet does, baby. Get the cutting, baby. Get the cutting, baby. The only thing I'm doing right now, Chopping that steak into bite-sized pieces, baby. And you see how that knife is cutting through that real easy? Easy now. Real easy, y'all. Mmm, mmm, it smells so good over here, baby. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I know I got my back to you right now, but I can't have my face facing you and taking care of this business at the same time, okay? I'm going to cut it just a little thicker so I can get it done a little quicker. That's a nice piece of fat right there. Oh, yeah, I'm in a little fatty section right there. That small rib always had that fat on it when it, when it come out the store. Okay, let me just get back to this tender meat. Tender meat. Mmm. Oh, I tell you. It's for the doctor. But you got to do that, doctor. Your niece is a man. Who I'm cooking this for. 
Y'all know you. The Uncle Magnator is doing this thing, baby. Showing you what you need to do for the people. I got a little fat in this right there. Let me get a little tougher to cut. Matter of fact, man, I'm going to cut this off. Split that one in half. And after that, baby, matter of fact, I'm just going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take it all on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it all on. Just get it done. Get it done, baby. Right now, I can smell those broccoli. I can smell those Brussels sprouts. All right. Laying everything down flat over here. So everything starts to cook the way it's supposed to. And look at that medium rare, baby. Mmm. 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 Oh, man. I'll tell you. Mess here over here. Put that back over here. Be back to flipping again. Hey, French fries with no, well, we got olive oil, can't see no oil at all. But it's not cooking oil. Olive oil with the polyphenols, you know what I'm saying? I'm just knock one off. Okay, got a few that fell down in the little trap there. Again, got to make sure they're all touching the surface so that they can cook, so they can heat up, so they can steam up, so they can cook up. All right, come on, I got a little troublemaker there. Okay, here we go. Got him, got him. Okay, so we're looking good on this end. Hey, it's been seven minutes or so. I know that Brock is ready. I know they already steam. And we're going to keep this on high over here. As we get closer and closer to the verge of getting it on, baby. To the imagination process. It's going all out, baby. So right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pick up a spoon now. So I can just turn these over a little quicker. A little faster. A little better. Mmm, I wish y'all could smell what the brother is cooking up in this thing here. Now, right now, if I wanted to, the juice that the marination that I just threw away, I could put some of that on right now so that I can cook in. But I got some clean marination for the noodles. So you can do either way you want to. You just got to know when. The time comes where you can no longer use can some marinated juices on uncooked food, you know. But since I was going in that direction already, mm, 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 can, boy, I'll tell you, can you see the picture? Can, can you picture that meteors? NRG meteors, do you see that? Brother, that's what you want. That's what you want. That's what you want. All righty. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm over here. Getting close to the verge of getting it on. All right. I can turn this off. Okay. Next thing we got to do, we got a little trick we got to show you here now. All right. Tupperware bowl. And everybody's got their own process, but I'm going to be safe this time just for you guys. Because I do all kind of tricky stuff sometimes in the kitchen, you know. I'm going to do this in a safe measure. I'm going to use a fork. Pick this up. This is the safest way I, I can do this for the video presentation. Ready. There we go. We got the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts. Steaming hot, baby. We're going to go into the fridge. We're going to get a little butter. We like to use the Smart Balance with olive oil. Okay. 
Take a nice couple of spoonfuls of that. Okay. I'm going to put that on the side right here for a second. Put this back in the fridge. Okay, I'm going to take some of my wife's favorite spices there and season that just a little bit. I should have got the top out earlier, but I didn't. <sighs> Hope this is the right one. And it's not. Okay. Ah, there it is. Now that butter's going to melt, then we're just going to shake it up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go put this over on the table, baby. That butter's going to melt. All I got to do is shake it up, turn it with a spoon. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, let's get down. Okay, so all these are off, that's good. I told you, whew, 53, I got seven minutes, yo. Seven minutes. Last thing I'm going to do is check on that cone, bro. And I'm going to turn some of these over. Just one more time. Mmm. Boy, this is looking good, and the smell just taking it to a whole new level, baby. I should have streamed this live on YouTube, too, but it's okay. I'm just letting that conversation kick in. Y'all, I'm put that on the side, too. Okay, let's get back over here. We're going to flip these over one more time. Flip these fries over one more time. That's right, 30 minutes of magic, baby. And look, you can do it too. I'm telling you right now. Scrub those potatoes as soon as you get them home. So when you need to do this in a quick manner, you can just go ahead and take care of business the way you do it, baby. I'm just trying to tell you how I do it my way. But you do it your way, baby. If you don't want to scrub them, you can peel them if you want to. But it's been scientifically proven that the potato peel have more vitamins than the potato itself. So I suggest, hey, Eat those peelings. Eat the peeling, baby. Be good for you. You know what I'm saying? See, a lot of people out there living to eat. Living to eat. Living to eat this. Living to eat that. Living to eat the other thing. Living to eat anything. Eat anything and everything. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because I used to do that. But I had to learn as I got a little bit older that I had to eat to live. And what I mean by that is I had to learn to eat the vitamins and minerals and nutrition for this body to make this body repair itself and to feel better. So I had to leave some stuff alone, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you, baby. I had to leave some, the magnet had to leave some stuff alone. Ever heard that song? Hey, teacher, leave those kids alone. Hey, Madeline, bro, you got to leave some of that food alone. And, and I just had to do it. I just had to do it. I just had to do it. And I did it, and I'm doing it. I'm living it, baby. Living that clean lifestyle, vegetables, five days a week, really, really. I mean, and it wasn't the easiest thing in the world to do either. Okay. Okay, I'll turn that down. Okay. So look at that steak, baby. Go look at that steak, y'all. Go ahead and look at that steak. Meteors. Always gotta let the steak sit five minutes anyway, y'all, before you dig in. It's just a normal nat natural property of eating steak okay now what I'm gonna do with this get the fork out I'm gonna chop these up just in half they already cooked I'm just gonna chop them up a little smaller bite size Caitlin might get some you know my granddaughter okay, just chop them up just a little bit just a little bit Okay, next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to scrape up all that caramelization. See, I like to scrape up caramelization and use that for flavorization, baby. And flavorization, caramelization, nothing but the macronation process in its fullest, fullest of, of its own fullness, baby. So anyway, I'm going to take those noodles. I told you, baby, I was going to do something special with them noodles, but now that's hitting right there, baby. That's hitting right there. That's hitting. And like I said, I'm going to turn that heat up just a little bit. I'm going to turn off 
with potatoes too. I'm just gonna take a little bit of those fresh juices and throw on there. Just a little bit, it's about, about a tablespoon. And stir fry it with that meat. Not stir fry because I turned the heat. Well, the heat is still on. Just fry it with that meat, baby. Matter of fact, I really didn't need that because we got so much caramelization on this pan, on this griddle. Mm. And this is just a little special something, y'all. Just, just a little side dish, a little something on the side. Just a little treat for y'all to show y'all if you got some extra steak and you got some marinization, baby. Hey, you can marinate that all together, baby. That's what marination is, baby. The flavors of marinate and the flavors of glad to associate, baby. That's what marination is all about. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm just gliding those noodles all across, all across that griddle to soak up that goodness, baby, as I scrape the goodness into the noodles, too, baby. And there you go. I can turn that off. Woo! 257, baby. I told you this was 30 minutes of magic, baby. 30 minutes of magic. Nobody does like the magnet, but I got to check. I got to check. Where's my ice pick, baby? Where's my ice pick, baby? Oh, there we go. Got to check that warm piece of cornbread, baby. Check it. Hey, look at that. Nothing on it. What does that mean? The cornbread is ready, baby. Now, one thing about the cornbread. The pan. The pan is hot. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get that cornbread out of there. As fast as you can, so you don't burn the bottom of the cornbread, baby. Who wants burnt cornbread? Nobody. Nobody I know anyway. So, I'm going to use this potato spatula because that's the closest one I got. Because getting this out of here is the essence of speed that I need right now. See, like sometimes when you're cooking, you want to take your time, do it slow. You know, you got to do it the way you're supposed to go. But sometimes you get that need for speed too, baby. And the need for speed is I don't want no bird cornbread. You know what I'm saying, baby? Mm, look at that cornbread brown. Woo, boy, that look good. That looks, mmm, a nice smell of fresh cornbread. You can smell the corn, baby. I feel like I'm in Nebraska. Smell the corn, baby. Smell the corn and the cornbread. Get out of there. Ah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I told y'all, baby. 30 minute magic. Good boy. Turn that off. Cornbread, baby. Looking good. Woo! Oh, yeah. All right. French fries. I'll put those French fries in a little bowl, too. A little something. A little something kind of small. I'm not gonna, just going to take what we're going to eat right now. French fries, baby, baby. Mm. Okay, and we got the noodle dish over here. We just going. Oh, that goes my alarm. The wife's gonna take care of that for me, cause nobody's in our backyard, cause it's all locked up. Must have some bad weather coming out here, cause when the thunder gets really bad, thunder and lightning. The window pan starts to shake, door starts shaking, the alarm goes off, baby. That's right, sensitivity, you ain't gonna ride the matter later. Especially with this big dog I got up in here. Boy, that's some rain, huh? Okay, y'all. And that go that noodle dish, baby. Something else on the side. What time is it? Woo! Three o'clock, 30 minute magic! That's just what I told you so, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, y'all, hey! That's just how it is, baby, when the back letter comes to play, y'all. So what I'm going to do next here, I'm going to turn this around. Let me see. Loosen this up on the camera right here. We're going to turn this camera around. we going to swap them out. Let's see. I got to go to my swap the cameras here. Let's go with. In fact, I'm just going to go with number two like this. Is that what we doing now? Is that camera number two? No, it must be camera number one. Okay, there we go. Camera number one. We gonna bro, take this down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna take that down. Let me go back to Twitch. 
see what's happening. There you go, baby. Hey, check it out. I know y'all saw that big light that I had on there, that big camera light went around in the circle there. So anyway, I can turn that light off. Okay, let me get a little a fresh fruit drink that I made earlier today. You know, that could be sitting in your refrigerator all the time. Give me a little glass. I'm just gonna put a little ice in for the optics. I'm not gonna let y'all sit here and watch me eat, okay? I'm just gonna fix the plate, plate it up for y'all. Let y'all check it out. See what the brother doing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, this is some work. Brother had to put in some work. It's a nice time for the brother, man, to get some grub all going on, get, get his eat on. I'm just gonna throw this out here like that. Like I said, we all know that the butter's up in here. Shake that up. It's already got a little seasoning on it. I'm gonna use a spoon to mix it up. Nice broccoli and, and uh, Brussels sprouts, nice and steam. Mm-hmm. Once again, the cornbread. See, I had to get that cornbread out before that get burnt on the bottom. See, but most of them, it's a nice flaky brown. You know what I'm saying? Look, that's the bottom of the cornbread, baby. You know you want a piece. Mm, mm, mm. So we're going to put that piece of cornbread on here. And yeah, we're going to take this. Some broccoli here. Brussels sprouts. Salt and pepper it up. I mean, not that. We got the butter on there. But with the Cajun season that the wife loves so much. Yo. We got the fries, baby. Just a couple of fries here to plate it up. Then we got the main course. You know, we got the mag the macronated meats. Throw a couple of pieces on there. I'll be taking a picture for the optics after the stream. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take some of the noodles and put on here too, just to plate it up right. You know what I'm saying? Just to plate it up for you. Make it look good. And normally I eat more vegetables than this. But I got some mixed vegetables that I'm going to steam up a little bit later. Because I got to get on the road. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, by there it is. All plated up. You got the noodles, baby. You got the broccoli. And then Brussels sprouts. One piece of cornbread and some spicy fries. That's what I got. And last but not least, baby, we got a fresh fruit drink, homemade, to top it off. So the macaroni is going to sit down. We're going to taste test everything for you before I get out of here, y'all. Let me do one thing here. Check this out. Okay, I'm gonna sit on down right here. Thank you, dear Lord, for this food I'm about to receive in your body. I can go forth and do you well. Thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, look, we gotta thank the Lord for everything that we have because He's the one who gave it to us. So we're gonna check out that cornbread. Nice, light, smells good, moist. Mmm. That little touch of sweetness is a good thing. All right. Mm, 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 mm. Fruit drink. Oh, man, with bits of fruit in it. Mm. I'm going to teach y'all that one day. I told you. I'm going to be teaching folks how to cook. Brussels sprout. Perfectly seasoned. Mm. It got a little crunch to it, too. Mm, that broccoli. Boy, that olive oil butter. Combined with the extra salt from the spices that Laura, you know, my wife wanted, perfect. Noodles. I just want the noodle right now. Mmm. Hmm. Man. Picked up the steak, caramelized, encrusted flavor that was on the griddle. Combined with the little fresh part that I put in there with the onions that was in there. Along with the sauce. Mmm, baby. Look, I'm telling you right now. I'm having this so much. You could hear a moment right now, baby. Mm. Oh, yeah. French fries. 
Mmm. The garlic powder. That's it. Lightly season. Mmm. And the steak, baby. And the steak. Dr. Marinelle. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This is winner, baby. This is winner. It's done. If I had a microphone, I'd drop it. I gave myself a pat on the back. Get a boy a hand. Let me hit it for the magnated boy. Woo! Hey, look, y'all. I got services to my wife. Got to go see my granddaughter. So y'all have a wonderful Saturday. It's your boy, Magnator. Remember, food has to marinate. And the favors are glad to associate. That's what Magnate means. So go on, hit that follow button. Subscribe on YouTube. This is Twitch. I got the Twitter. I got the Instagram. I'm Magnator 1 on Instagram. And I got the TikTok. I was trying to mess with TikTok a little earlier, but that didn't work out too good. So I got to do my work on TikTok and you know, then I'm going to give it OBS. I'll be streaming simultaneously on everything. And I'm Magnator on Facebook, too. I'm not the W gang, baby, but I'm the Magnator, baby. I took the W gang and flip it upside down. I'm in the W gang. This is your boy, Magnator. Coming to you all the way live from the Chocolate Milky Way, baby. This is me. <laughs> love what I did. And I love y'all for coming out. And thanks for coming out. And I say peace to you and your family.